Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It has been a very long time, but boy, is it good to be back. After such a long hiatus, it only makes sense that today we're talking about hobby burnout and how to recover from it. So I want to be completely transparent with you guys here. The reasons that I haven't uploaded in eight months are myriad, but one of the biggest factors is just hobby burnout in general. For the last two years, I've been doing commission painting and it's been great and that's been my sole income. At first it was really great, I got to do what I loved, but it quickly became apparent that I was losing my passion for my hobby. The stress of making sure I had enough work to support myself coupled with the stress of deadlines made it so that I wasn't enjoying the work I was doing for others and it definitely made it so that I did not want to spend my free time painting my own things, let alone filming it. But I think it's about time that I fixed that. Back when the Soulblight Gravelords first launched, I decided I really didn't like the official zombie dragon model. It just didn't quite fit the aesthetic of the rest of the army. So I picked up a couple extra copies of the Vangorian Lord, and I slapped some Lord of Change heads on there. Then they sat on my shelf for eight months in pure gray plastic. One of the biggest reasons we experience burnout in the hobby is that we're constantly forcing ourselves to paint things we don't enjoy, while leaving the projects that would be a ton of fun on the shelves as a reward for when we finish the endless ranks of infantry that we're supposed to be pushing through. We quite often have a really amazing and epic project that we would love to do. A project so great that we even stay up at night thinking about it, thinking how amazing it's gonna be to paint it. But for whatever reason, we just let it sit on the shelf. For me in the past, getting over hobby burnout was as simple as just grabbing that passion project off the shelf and getting started. So that's what we're gonna try today. Now, it's been months since my last upload, which means I was a little bit rusty when it came to filming. A lot of these shots are overexposed or out of focus, and there are plenty of times I forgot to hit record or I let the camera battery die, and so there's a lot of missing footage here. I still, however, wanted to make this video. Ever since my last upload, I've found excuse after excuse to not upload, and I figured if I can just get something out, then that'll put me back in the rhythm. I also figured that with such a long hiatus, anything I'm gonna put out is gonna be lackluster, so I guess forgive me if I don't go over every step of the painting process here, but that's not really what I wanna talk about anyway. I'm really hoping to show you that if you're ever feeling burnt out or you feel like you've stepped away from something for too long, sometimes the best way to get back is to just put yourself out there, get right into it, and get back into the swing of things. Another contributing factor to my burnout was the emphasis I put on painting. You see, when I first started this hobby, I really fell in love with the terrain building aspect of it. So I knew that for this project, I wanted to put epic display bases on my zombie dragons, which actually works out because if you know anything about the size of these models, the Vangorian Lord is considerably smaller than the actual zombie dragon. So a big base helps it fill out the rest of that size. Using some styrofoam, tile grout, and leftover resin bits and old mantic zombies, I was able to craft a moment in time. Instead of just having a zombie dragon model, now I would have a story. A story of a pet and its master looking over their land. Perhaps they were there to play, perhaps the zombie dragon friend was there to pick out a new toy, or maybe they were just there to watch the sunset over their land before they began their night of conquest. Of course, now I would have to add yet another model to this project. I had a few options laying around here, but the one that really stuck out to me was Lady Annika, one of the named vampire lords from the recent Soulblight Gravelords launch. I really want to be honest with you guys here. I'm feeling a bit of an imposter syndrome, or at the very least, like a little bit of a hypocrite here. You see, I made this whole video talking about getting over hobby burnout, and, and I never said that it worked, but I certainly implied that 
this helped me get past my burnout. But in truth, this video has been recorded since December. I just never got around to filming this monologue section and putting it together. At first, it really seemed like this was the project that was going to kick me back into gear, but eventually it just burned out again. Even now as I'm writing this script, I'm struggling to stay sat at my laptop. But sometimes perseverance is all we have. I've since found a way to get out of my slump, and it turns out that having someone to share my experience with and to teach and to learn from is exactly what I was looking for. If you're burnt out and you're even tackling your passion project, I recommend that you try painting with someone. I won't promise another video next week because honestly right now I still have a busy life and many other things are going on. I will be doing better about uploading more consistently and not leaving for another eight months. But when I do come back with another video, I do want to talk more about painting with friends and share with you exactly what that experience has been like and how it reignited my joy for painting. But until next time, thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe, maybe share this video with your friends. Um, again, I will be coming back and making more consistent uploads. I apologize profusely for the hiatus I took. Until next time, guys, keep on crafting.